so how about something new? Come off a NAM show. I went to NAM show this week. It was cool. I got to see Andy Irvine, Doug Wimbush, a few other cool people. You know, it's all fun stuff. So I come back and I have this orange jazz bass. Fender jazz bass. 2004 by the serial number. The ash body with the transparent orange. A nice maple board. Let's talk about what this bass is, what it's got, what it can do. I will tell you now, this bass is available. If you're interested in it, let me know. It will be posted on a very well-known popular bass site uh, for sale. Because uh, as you know, I stick to certain things, and this is a very cool bass. I just don't think I'm going to use it. So anyway, let's talk about what this thing has. In 2004, they put the S1 switch on here. So the S1 switch is over the push-pull, or excuse me, push-pull. Wow, isn't that cool? It's like a push button. And we'll get to what it does here in a minute. So what we have here is we have the standard stuff with Fender. You have a regular bridge, which also has the string through options, so there are ferrules on the back for the strings to go through. Um, I did load this up. I'm, I'm going to test drive some strings. Notice the strings are pink. Hmm. See any other pink things around in my stash? Hmm. Anyway, so we have the standard stuff here. It's a nice maple board, standard Fender all the way around. Nothing's been changed from 04. You know, for a nine-year-old bass, it's pretty cool. It's got a couple little dings and nicks on it. There's one spot right here where actually it's got a chip out of it. Other than that, looks pretty good. So let's hear what this thing sounds like, even with pink strings on it. So let's open it up wide. Okay, so that's wide open with everything brought. Now, if I push the S1 switch, it really boosts. Now you'll notice, trusty trace here, everything's flat. The S1 switch actually overdrives the preamp on the trace. How about that? So let's take it back off. All right, so I'm going to dial the treble down. Let's see here. I'll dial it to about 60. Kind of a cool, barky thing. This is an ash body. And uh, ash is bright, and then we've got the maple board on top of that. Overall, a pretty bright instrument. So let's start playing with the pickups now, shall we? I'm going to leave the treble tone 60%. Leave it there. Here comes front pickup coming off a little bit. So let's go back pickup all the way. Sounds like your typical J, doesn't it? So again, now let's turn off the back pickup. Now mind you, the S1 switch is not pushed, so this is just the straight step. Front pickup only. Okay, so let's dial it back in now. Standard stuff, what I would normally do. I was playing a jazz. I'd dial the front pickup off just a little bit. You can hear where it kind of dials in there, where it's full on. So take it off just a hair. Lots of boom there, isn't it? That's a bottom end to be proud of. It's a lot of beef, isn't it? And this is just a stock setup. There's nothing that's been changed on this guitar. So again, so now I'm just going to bump the back one back up and the front one's going to stay so everything pickup wise the pickups are full on the S1 switch is still pushed I'm going to bring the back pickup down about a quarter turn that's some serious girth right there so okay as I said this guitar 
is available. Uh, it's going to be made available uh, for sale because, uh, like I said, I'm a P-Bass guy. I like a good jazz bass, and this is definitely a good jazz bass. I tweaked the neck up, polished the frets, did some other fun stuff to it. It comes alive. So, let me know if you're interested. If not, if you want to know where it is, you'll see it posted for sale. If you're not sure, send me a message here. As always, my usual standard. Make sure that you sit on the computer less and play bass more. And with that, have fun. Comments, questions, fire them here or send me a message. Rock on until next time. Play some bass.